This is not my type of shit. I don't ever want the next nigga to ever think that I'm a messy bitch. But you want to be a messy nigga and do petty shit because you hurt? All right, we going to do it then. Let's go lick for lick. Let's go wrong for wrong. Let's go hit for hit. Fuck you. I told you. Leave me the fuck alone. Action. If you're my woman and you ever want to hurt me, like really, really hurt me, allow a man to penetrate you while you're pregnant with my son. Allow a man to enter your womb while you're pregnant with my baby. Women, they play the game of power very differently. When Once you play like that, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? How do I look at this woman? I got 18 years to deal with this person. Hey, number one, this is very disgusting. But how do you even get that off as a flex? Because the man you messing with, whom you know, cheat and have other women, you knew this already when you got with him. Um, how do you even use that as a flex? You're willing to give up your integrity. You're willing to just just blow your character up just to, to try to get it. See, women will do that. They'll do things in spite. This is how silly I think y'all are. I don't want to use the D word dumb, but this is how silly I think y'all are. That's a are. good word, though. Yeah, it is. Like, no brains, no mind attached to it at all. Y'all but she's would not a things. smart person. And you listen really. to her talk. She's not an intelligent no. person. And when we have conversations about, about, about black women being powerful, I want to talk to you. Like, why don't you defend yourself? You, you you say that I don't uplift you. Why don't you uplift yourself? Why do you let Kamala Harris pretend to be you? <laughs> Why do you let Cardi B pretend to be you? These people run around and they act like, if I act like this and be real chaotic, then I'm, I'm a black woman. Why are you allowing that to be a, character, a caricature of yourself? I'm looking at Pop the Balloon. First guy contestant comes up there and says, hey, you know, a turn off of him is loud and ghetto. And we know who he was talking about. I think the conversation of lashes even came up, uh, you know, on that show. And they had a problem with that. And I don't want to wear a lash. And that's that. We're talking to you. Hey, ain't no, don't no real man of value want to wife up a Cardi B. I don't want you walking around with the wig on and lashes on. You afraid to be yourself. In, in general, Spanish girls that behave like that, your mama didn't behave like that in general. I mean, in totality, if you look at it, majority of Spanish communities, your mother was making tamales, empanadas or something in her kitchen and being a mother. Right. She wasn't behaving that way. She didn't right. dress that way. That wasn't your culture. And so when you emulate that culture, you're pretending to be something. And then we take uh, the like the little girl that was on the the uh, Phil, Dr. Phil show. Uh, Catch me outside. Catch me outside. Yeah, man. Ridiculous. And they're, Ridiculous. Just, they're just playing a character. And I'm like, but black woman, you ain't no character. Nah. And if I tell you that you're not a character, you tell me, my God, man, I don't know if you're saying this. Um, there's a show called Higher Learning with Van Lathan and Rachel Lindsay. I didn't know who Rachel Lindsay was, but she was uh, on The Bachelorette. And I didn't know that she was the prize. Oh, wow. And so she was talking and she said she went on a date and um, she had her natural hair. And then she went on a date with the same man a second time. And she had like some weave in her head and some, you know, accessories. And they he kept it cordial. He was like, hey, the next time we go out, can you like not wear that stuff and be like the way that I met you the first time? Right. I thought that sounded completely reasonable. Right. She didn't think that it sounded reasonable. She got all, she was, how dare you try to control a woman's body? What makes you think that I'm supposed to dress to a comedy? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. You're a lawyer. You're supposed to be intelligent. You're supposed to like have, Re logic and reasoning and to see that hey i'm the consumer if the consumer says i don't want the product but she also said if you don't like me then don't talk to me but that, that's not how he met you hey man uh shazarad ali sister shazarad ali says that they have the mind of a 12 year old that many of them do not get out of that mental uh part of their life ever there'll be women that are in their 30s and 40s thinking well, like why 12 years um, because what she was trying to basically in contest ex explain how many women think, but many black women think as far as how they rationalize and live their lives. So for instance, if a man, you want to get a man, you want this man to be with you. This is the goal, right? And the man tells you, Hey, I don't like when you do that. I would prefer this something small. You don't want to be controlled. You lose your mind and lose the opportunity to be with the real prize, which is that man. When you say sister Ali. I'm believing that the way I've been told psychologically, once a woman knows that she can control a man with her sexuality, she knows that she doesn't have to do anything else. All I got to do is bat my eyes and stick my chest out, shoulders back and switch a little bit. And I can have anything I want. Once I know that that's my superpower, why do, why do I need to read a book for? 
<laughs> why, why, why should I do anything when I know what's going to give me everything? Yeah, women leverage off their sex like it's nothing. And they don't want you to critique it. They leverage off the sex. That's why pro-choice is such a big deal. It's like, I can leverage off my sex and I can leverage off kids to get what I want. And who thinks like that? A child. Now, let's talk about how we negotiate power because women negotiate power very differently than I negotiate power. I right. negotiate the physical world. I cut down trees and I go and carry oxes. I like to do hard things. A lot of times, <laughs> if you live in a city, you don't have to. Man, but I grew up in the country. I skipped rocks in, you know what I'm saying? I chased things and pastors and picked berries. Like, this was my experience. Right. Most people, if, you don't, if you've never been outside in the country, you don't know how dangerous the country is. There is no light pollution. Once, the lights, once it gets dark outside, it's dark outside. You see stars and nothing else. You can't see the hands in front of your face. If you never experienced this, the world is so convenient to you. And men are feminized by living in the cities just like that. But just in nature, we deal with power differently. I deal with the nature. She deals with emotions. And so she's real manipulative. And she'll do things to hurt my feelings, to break me down, to see how I respond. And now, in, in the way back, a man responded with a whole lot of physical force. And every, every wife knew a friend whose husband came home after drinking whiskey and, and he engaged in physical activity. And so everyone knew of the myth of the bad man. And so if you don't know there's a wolf out there, all the sheep just misbehave. <laughs> <laughs> bars. Dropping bars. It sounds nuts. But it's true. But when you take away the threat, everything is, everything is okay. Why are we experiencing the type of society in America that we are experiencing is because there are strong men that went before us that fought for us to be able to have a very convenient lifestyle. Women feel that they're equal. Even if they're in the WNBA and they make some, some, uh, significantly less than the NBA, they look, feel like they should be paid like NBA players. Look at Angel Reese. You, she, she, I think that she's a beautiful young lady. And just look at her behavior. I, I, how can I respect you when all you want to do is show me your cheeks and all you want to do is show me your, your, your tatas? You want to show me your yams. And when you show me your yams, I just want a yam. Like I'm playing NBA Jam on, you know what I'm saying? Man, I, I, you call me whatever you want to call me. I'm being honest, right hand to the man. I was watching pickup basketball, and the, a regular pickup player was playing against a college uh, girl. Right. And the way the game looked, I was like, "Holy Christ! I want to play basketball too." Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, she was backing him down, and it just looked like the bump and grind. That's all it was. I said, "Holy man! You could foul me all day and all night. Why can't we talk like this?" I think that. If you play in the WNBA, y'all should be wearing even tighter clothes. That hey. that way we'll really want to watch. Cause I don't watch no WNBA games. I want to see y'all in like some some spandex tank tops, something like that. Big, you know, the bigger the booty, the better. I like women. That's <laughs> we love women like that. I don't, you know, I mean like you got some sports out, Serena. Okay, we, but even then, I'm like, damn, Serena thick. Like back in the gap when she playing, I'm, that, we want to watch ass. That's what men want to see. And if you're presenting yourself like that, if you're presenting yourself with so much ass, I don't see you outside of that. So Cardi B, I don't see you respectable enough anyway. I'm just talking about in terms of relationship to even wife you up. I don't see why any man that wants a real wife would wife up something like that. That's all about power. He has uh, somebody in his team. I'm pretty sure that he met her. She, she might be a wonderful person. She has a bubbly personality. She likes to tell jokes. But once you once you manipulate your body using augmentations and stuff oh, like yeah. this, man, I'm not even interested because it tells me that your brain ain't, ain't working properly. It right. tells me you got a mental illness. You think that if you got to cut yourself to be the thing that you think that you are, baby, you're not that. <laughs> Look at these women that stay single. Because we just so topical. We'll be like, oh, she fine. She beautiful. You know what I'm saying? We don't see why she's single. You'll see why. If you date her for two weeks, you will find out why. Can can this be causation? Like they show, they give us the image. They gave us Living Single. And Living Single was such a dynamic show when they show these beautiful black women who instead of wanting to have fulfilling lives as wives. Right. Man, we'd rather stay together and split rent so we can get some D-I-C-K. <laughs> but you know, the world has come to that. And it starts with that generation, probably slightly before. It has come to that. Like women, they will piece together the life they want. So they want to be able to travel. They want to have babies that they can say are pretty and they belong to them. And get this man, Dingo man, to come give them vitamin D. That is that is the life for them. They they can live in like that. And we have created a society that has made that possible. Can I steal, man, the female argument to feminism? If the world tells me that I can do and say whatever I want, 
there will never be any pushback. My superpower is my femininity. Using my sexuality to dominate men is my superpower for women. Right. And if I look at men who are competing with me, they're the way they compete is through physical force. You can't use your physical force in any capacity. You can't even insinuate physical force or else that is violence. And so I can compete at my full potential and you cannot compete at your full potential. And I, I can have the baby. The state will pay for the baby. You'll give me money also. I'll get a second job and I'll get a man. Why not? If I was a woman, I would sign up for that 10 times out of 10. I definitely think they ought to get rid of child support. Man, I can fall, I can fall in love again and again and again. I'm like, <laughs> man, I could just, I could hop on the baloney baloney pony yeah. as many times as I want. I could ride, I could ride on that cock carousel as many times as I want, and there's no accountability. Child support needs to be gone, and it shouldn't be easy to get out of marriage like that. Like they, once you marry, it should not even be, it shouldn't be, it should not be windows of opportunity for women at their 70 percentile. You're talking about to be able to get out of marriage. You're talking about marriage because you want to be a moral man. But one the way our culture is right now, I would never even consider marriage. You're not alone in that. A lot of brothers say that. Hey, so so all you gotta do is take away the the economic uh for her to, to have a baby and get some money. You stop that and just say everybody a fan for yourself, let's do it. Let's run. Man, they gonna they never gonna leave home. They gonna stay there. They gonna behave. They are gonna do what you ask them to do. Yeah, they gonna do that. But again, when you're competing for higher wages, when you feel they want enough money to be able to take care of themselves and and afford a lifestyle that they want, but they do not have any intentions on raising productive families. They so, don't understand regardless. that winter's coming. Yep. Man, it gets cold. If you if you do not do the work. And plant the seed and, and sow the seed and reap the seed, man, you're gonna be hungry. And a lot of these women, they do not see their future. Right. They think that the government is always gonna be there and the party lasts forever. I'm I, I'm gonna be 40 forever. Vivica Fox thought she was gonna be 40 <laughs> until she has to get 13 facelifts. Uh, she walked around looking like Predator, her face just pulled back. <laughs> oh. I'm like, nigga. Hey, Leave man, she looking like Kirk Franklin because he didn't have something done in his face, too. Hey, man, when y'all put that plaster in y'all face, man, y'all look like the Joker. You know the Joker from the Batman? I'm talking about the, <laughs> the Jack Nicholson Joker. Like, dog, no. y'all look terrible. They look like Jamie Foxx when he played, when he, uh, <laughs> on the Jamie Foxx show when he put all the stuff on. No, that's on uh, In Living Color. Yeah, when he's Wanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Wanda. Thank you. I was getting lost to the Jamie Foxx show. He has a wonderful, spectacular career. That ain't, that's not even his name. His name is not Jamie Foxx. Anyway. Man, yeah. And I, I've actually had an opinion about the Jamie Foxx show. I'd say that it's in competition with Martin. But that's a whole nother discussion. A whole nother discussion. But yeah, I man, it looks terrible. Body augmentation. Okay, I want to say something about body augmentation. I think body augmentation can look good when it's the old school stuff, right? You're a what little you bigger. What do you mean? You're a little bigger. They take the fat in you. They might carve it up, or they might put it in certain the fat. Yeah, like big, 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 big women who kind of had a shape already. I, I, I kind of that's what I've always thought about. Hey, but man, psycho, I, go ahead. Psychopaths are not beautiful to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Harley Quinn is not beautiful. They, 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 they got brain damage. Their brain ain't working good. Man, but Hell. When, when you got the SpongeBob SquarePants booty, and you got the weird high cheeks, y'all look like. The other y'all look like the alternative to women if y'all know what i'm saying like y'all don't look like women y'all look like other than women man i don't even know what that is look if you can't if you can't talk man i, 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 I ain't know I, if i can say it but i, was I hate being, transformers i hate being look a, like transformers oh uh <laughs> a decepticon a Decept, you're a decepticon y'all look like decepticons uh, who wants to be with a decepticon and cheeks so, all big and lips so all balance bubble. for power the only so so once once I can't be powerful in the physical way, all I can do is restrain. I just pull back. I know it sounds crazy. They have a whole movement that's called MGTOW. They they deleted MGTOW off of the internet. Whenever they have a men's right type channel, they just annihilate that joint. And so I only want to talk about equality and egalitarianism. I don't care about no men's rights. I care about human rights and equality. And I think that anything that is good for a feminist, it should be good for me too, because that's an egalitarian idea. If they want sexual reproductive rights, I also want the exact same thing. 
man, they're going to fight so hard against that. But no, you're just trying to like, no, if you want true equality, we have to really approach this thing like what's going to work for the whole. But see, I don't even think women are capable of thinking like that. I don't think y'all think like that at all. I think y'all really have this 12 year old mindset of approach on things like, hey, I want this. I want to be able to do this my way. All they want is plan A and they be able to go to the, the clinic where they can say bye to the baby. That's all they want to do. I don't even know. Maxwell has one of the most beautiful voices. He said, bye bye, baby. <laughs> you all you want to do is annihilate children because you think that your power comes from not having children. And I'm like, yo, if that's not the most counterproductive ideology in the history of the world, I don't even know what we're doing. Women don't want to have babies, men don't want to fight. I'm living in like this world that I never thought could possibly exist. And and, and so I just want if we're battling for power. We have to have, it has to be a fair fight. Don't, women, do you want to fight fair? Nah, because when no. I say the word fight, you say that sounds no. aggressive. No, they want plan B's and the option to kill <laughs> any baby that comes around. Here's another thing. I saw this on, uh, I saw this, this is again the deflectiveness of women, right? Uh, I saw this post that said that it's men who should have the birth control, not women. It's like, but what about us both knowing that if we no, have... Like, make me take it. Make me take it. <laughs> if, if it's not my idea, then that means that you want someone to force me to do it, force me to do it then. Like, if you don't start, if you don't acknowledge the thing and debunk it, like, immediately. Right. Facts are facts. If there's a battle between the sexes, then let's compete and how you get to choose whatever the physical activity is. Right. And when you lose, you have to be quiet forever. <laughs> uh, you have to be quiet they'll forever. They'll never play. They'll Man. never play. Or they'll play and try to put you in litigation so they can just, make sure they can talk again. <laughs> what should, what I started off with Cardi B because that that story is is so it's so wild like you're nine months pregnant and I just what discipline I don't even it, I heard Melissa Ford on the Joe Budden podcast she was saying what's wrong what's wrong with her doing that what's wrong with her doing that the, 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 your gynecologist tells you that it's healthy hey 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 Melissa Ford I'm pretty sure your gynecologist says like whoever your your the father of the child is I would just I think that's common sense, but common sense ain't common. I need to see the episode. I haven't seen Joan so long, but was she at least, was she just talking about sex overall being she healthy? Was, she was saying baby? that it, or it didn't Cardi B is, it's Cardi, it's fine. Whoever, no matter who Cardi B is, is doing it with, it's cool. Why not? And so the guys were like, well, what about bacteria? Because they try to run away from the conversation, man. It's morally deplorable for you to be having in, in any type of, a sexual encounter with the man that's not the father of the child. That tells me what kind of person you are. Simple. You had a baby and you couldn't even sustain the relationship to get to the pre through the pregnancy. I mean, most, a lot of men are very excited about having a baby unless you just a good for nothing riding. You know, there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> hey man, deplorable. You say that a good word, deplorable. It's just immoral. You, you don't have no morality when you're doing it. It doesn't matter. Listen, if that brother is doing what he's doing in the streets and you need to get away from, from him, then you do it in a reasonable way and you go about your life and you don't broadcast that. But to broadcast to the world, then to hurt him, that you was out here living wild while you had a, a, a baby in your womb, what, I think that's I think that says a lot about more about you than what he had. What's the punishment for getting, for getting your guts pushed in and your ovaries pushed in, getting my little son's head pushed in? <laughs> Huh? What's the what's the punishment? That's that is egregious behavior. That is flagrant beyond flagrant. flagrant. And you tell me that you can do the most nastiest, horrible thing to not only to me but to my unborn child and just act like it's no big deal. The 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 death of the 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 mother has gone extinct. The death of the mother is one of the nastiest things that ever happened to any society. Women really don't want to be moms. Yeah, yeah, mama had to work really hard, patches and cooking and homework and costumes and everything. Yeah, yeah, it was a very challenging job, but I thought you took pride in being of service to your family, and all of a sudden, you just quit. Mom just quit. Mom is on per permanent vacation. The they, kitchen is closed. They just want to travel and... And live in a novel. While they traveling for though. You know, they travel, they try and go get some foreign dick. <laughs> like, geez. The passport. All system. around the world chasing dick. Whatever the case may be. I mean, you you have this whole uh, trend of women that talk about, oh, I got my passport. Look how many different countries I've been to. It's like their whole lives will be consumed with that. We we like to lie. Okay. 
when when they talk about homo uh, behavior, they try they talking about putting your tally whacker into the booty, and right. you get it, it's a, it covered in dookie. It's disgusting. It's defiled. It is nasty. When they talk about reproductive rights, they talking about sending little babies to see Jesus. They putting babies to the moon. It's football <laughs> season. They put the baby on the tee and just kick it straight to the moon. Huh? This this is horrible stuff. And we act like it's normal, and it's not normal. Come on, man. It's not normal, man. That's, <laughs> bruh. Cardi B is not normal. These people are not normal. <laughs> they're psychopaths. They're sociopaths. And they're giving you the most demonic, narcissistic behavior. And you sit there, hey, a woman who can't control her cat, there, there is, there's nothing that's like death. That's a plague. Hey, that's Pandora's box. Pandora's box is when the woman figured out that she could have an orgasm. And then she just went nuts. And they say that's when that's when evil came into the world. Once the woman figured out that she could control that clit and flick that bean, and all she got to do was smile and twerk, and every man is going to say hi, evil came into the world. And all this damn feminism, all, all this stuff, it's pure evil. It's pure evil. There ain't nothing more evil than a hoe that's been with 30 niggas. Pure evil. It won't be racism. It won't be a guy that's orange acting like a racist. That's going to end this country. It won't be any of the wild ideas, communism, and all this other crazy stuff that y'all think could potentially happen. Do you know what's going to bring this country down? It's perversion. Everything he just said is perversion. It's so easily accessible. The perversion. Mother, the mother has destroyed her womb. You're infertile. Your children have all types of autism because we are just destroying the, the female body. And we're watching our society become destroyed. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.